Today, I'm going to tell you guys every single thing I know about every gig app. This is uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Shipped, uh, Instacart, and Spark. I'm gonna give you all the tips, the tricks, the trades, the finesse, the everything. <laughs> DDK and I'm back today with another DoorDash video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you are subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. Today is April 11th and we already get to this bag, baby. We already are at order number one and we already have some fun, baby. All the way sparked up. Walmart, two order, 2.4 miles for 1404. You already know we got to that dough. But today is a special day, baby. Today is April 11th and we're gonna give out some blessings, baby. Today I'm going to tell you guys every single thing I know about every gig app. This is uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Shipped, uh, Instacart, and Spark. I'm gonna give you all the tips, the tricks, the trades, the finesse, the everything. And I'm gonna start off with this. Wow, this is the first thing, right? Bam. You see this? You see this? The first thing, the first tip is the bags. The bags are going to save you way more trips. You're not going to have to take 50 trips because you got these bags. And these bags are in the, in the description. Also, we got this. We're going to put this in the description too. Wow. This right here is a dolly. And it folds up and looks like uh, fish right there. Right right in there. Just like that. That's the dolly. So, you guys want to make sure you stay tuned to the full video. Also, if you want a chance to win some of the free merch, all you have to do is email me at wrongshousereviews at gmail.com. Send me a picture so you can subscribe to the channel and earn your chance to win. It's time to get it in. Let's go. Order two and three, get with me, baby. Order number two is Joel Osco. Five items, three miles for seven dollars. We holla. This does contain alcohol, so we gotta make sure we get that ID. Order number three, get with me, baby. Mariano, 58 items, 1.5 miles for 4483. It's the Instacart order. We're about to get in order. Let's go. We are here, baby. Time to get busy. Uh, whipping. Uh, dipping. Uh, flipping. Uh, dipping. <laughs> Oh, you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I got the car. Oh, okay. Oh, I like your room. That's good. Oh, that's what I'm well, saying. I don't tell you with nothing, you know? My, my, I'm not going to take the credit for this. My business partner got this. <laughs> this for is us. great. Yeah, it works out perfect for us, so it's very easy. You know, because I never used to come down with jewel delivered themselves. Mm -hmm. They always had a dolly, so I love them bring up in my cart. And then when you guys started doing it, I thought, well, these guys are equipped to, you know, mm -hmm. to do this. Today. Would you like me to put it in the cart for you? No, no. no okay, no, can I see your ID, please? Yeah. Where'd I put it? Correct. That's exactly what it's doing to me right now. Yeah. So. Why doesn't it have an expiration date? Because when you're over 65, it's an ID. When you're over 65, you just get one and you never have to go back again. Really? So, yeah. I didn't know that. I learned something new every day. <laughs> they said I'm going to take it back to the store. I know. That's, they, they'll tell you that because it says that that ID is not valid. Hey, how you doing, sir? Um, I'm ha I have a, uh, I have an order in my queue and I'm having issues with it for the ID, which I do have the ID in my hand. But uh, the customer is over 65, so it doesn't have an ex expiration date on it. And it's telling me to return it back to the store now. Yes, sir. So you mentioned that the, uh, the app is trying to do it in back to the merchant, right? Um, how old do you think the customer is? Um, she was born in 1947. Um, can you, would you mind kind of being speedy because her groceries are melting right now. It has some freezing belongings in here and we've been on the hold for a while. We came here and last time when I went through this with you guys before, I had to return an order and then you told me you're going to give me, uh, compensate me for it and you guys didn't do it. Well, you're not taking my stuff back. I've never had that happen and it's not happening today. Is it is it possible I can give you the information you can just clear it off the queue? I have the information here already. Um, the customer's uh, information is also shows on our end that there's a return delivery on the order. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about as far as her information, like her identification information. So you guys know that it's, or can I send a picture of the ID to, to yes. an email or something? Good idea. Email another picture. They obviously don't believe us. Shh. Yeah, once I'm clear, then we will be to go. I just need to get it off. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and if you guys need me to, I can send you a picture through an email or something to show that I did have the ID and everything. And the, and the information is valid. Yes, it's off, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. All righty, you too. All right. Bye bye. All righty, ma'am. Yes. Take the rest of your day. Though. You have a great day, ma'am. Okay. Enjoy. Too. Enjoy. Have a good. Have one for me. Have one for me. You have a good one. Tip number two, what it do? This is tip number two. If you guys can see, that was a complete disaster. Y'all saw what happened when we tried to do that alcohol delivery. That's by far the worst delivery I've ever had to do. It was terrible. But I do want to say this, this is tip number two. Tip number two is when you have the liquor orders and DoorDash, the app does not ask you to put in the information, make sure you take a picture of the ID. You're gonna take a picture of the front of the ID and you're gonna take a picture of the back of the ID because you do want to cover yourself at all costs. Because DoorDash might try to say that you ain't, that you delivered to somebody at 121. So you guys want to make sure you cover yourself. Now we about to go. How you say you trapping? I ain't seen you in that trap for months. I slang a nine to five and sell this pressure. That's a double up. They say that you the goat, but I don't feel a man. I ain't had enough. I went and took a trip and brought it. This Instacart order so we can get an order, baby. This, they got so much stuff, it's crazy. I'm talking about, we got the whole trunk built up, whole back seat that built up. Built up and built up. Look at where it's going, we got to run up this door, let's go. Drop it like that. Like a gensel. Uh, and we on point like a pencil. Our P-shirts, uh, they gonna miss you. Spin again, they gonna get you. Guess what? For that last order, we got an extra $10, baby. So we made $54 and something cent, enough money to pay the rent. Now I'm going to tell you guys, order number four and tip number three, get with me, baby. Order number four is all the way sparked up. Two orders, Walmart, 3.8 miles for $17.83. Get with me, baby. So tip number three is for the Instacart. Instacart orders, this I'm gonna tell you how to get an order, baby. With the Instacart orders, you're gonna do a thing that we call pre-shopping. Before you, when you go in the store, right, you're gonna start getting the items that you need already. You're gonna start picking, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to scroll it. You're gonna be able to pick them, boom. Get this, get this, get this, get this. They're gonna give you about 15 minutes before they send you a text message to say, you need to start shopping. So, what you're gonna do is start pre-shopping, which then, once the 15 minutes is up, they're gonna say start shopping, you're gonna press start shopping, and then you're gonna scan all the items that you already have. What that, going, what that is gonna do is, it's gonna help you with your time. Your time is gonna be shorter than it would be if you just press start shopping. Which then is gonna send Instacart a thing that's gonna say, we need to start picking you more often. So you're gonna get better orders so you can get an order. So we put up to Walmart, it's time to get busy. I hope you guys are with me also. This first all the way sparked up order, we about to get an order, baby. Drop it like it's hot. Bob, I'm trying to rush a little bit so we can get all the way sparked up again. So I can try to give you guys the next tip. But if we don't, either way it goes, y'all gonna get the tip off the rip. Cause y'all part of the family, baby. Each one teach one. Step back. Hit him with the phone, y'all already know though. Not a me, a fool. Smack the photo off the rip. That's cool, baby. This is actually going to the same exact house. Order number two, here you go, right here. <laughs> Drop it like that, hit him with that phone, smack. Let's go. Order number five, stay alive, let's drive, baby. Walmart, Insta pickup, three items, 7.5 miles for 18.50, get with me. This is on DoorDash. I'm gonna tell you guys, this is gonna be tip number four. We in the door, look. Tip number four, I found this out from a subscriber. Huge shout out to you, I cannot remember your name, sorry about that, but huge shout out to you. But I'm gonna tell you guys this. If you go in Walmart and you put a Rive store on the DoorDash app, 
and it takes them more than 30 minutes to give you your order, you can then get an extra $5 per order. Now, when I say this, I want to, I want to tell you guys this, because DoorDash might try to finesse you, like they did me before. What you guys want to do is, before you actually scan the order, you need to call DoorDash. You need to call DoorDash and tell them that you've been there for 30 minutes, and then after they give you the $5, they're going to say, oh, we're going to give you $5 more. Then you scan the items. Do not, let me say it one more time, do not scan any of the items before they tell you they're going to get that $5. Because if you do, then it's going to mess up everything. So you guys want to make sure you keep that in mind. We're going to grind to the end of time. Let's go. You don't know what I've been through. Pain cut deep like a jinsu. Uh. Okay. Oh, I have to take a little picture really fast. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. Number two. What it do, baby? This one actually has two bags. Oh, it has pop in the bag. It's pop like that. Pop, pop. Then back hit him with that photo. Mop. Go out. Pop. Let's go. Yeah, we are here to jump off the last one. Let's get it done, baby. Drop it like that. Hit it with that photo. You already know. Smack with the photo, doorbell. Let's go. Order number six. We back in the mix, baby. All the way. Sparked up. One order from Sam's Club. 6.7 miles for 24.43. Get with me, baby. Tip number five. In order for you guys to get your spark orders early, this is all you have to do. When you hit and start trip, if you're too early, it will not allow you to pick up the order. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your phone in airplane mode. Once you put your phone in airplane mode, then you're going to hit start trip. Then you're going to push confirm arrival. After you push confirm arrival, you're going to click the number that you're at. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Click whatever number it is. After you do that, you are then going to take your phone off airplane mode and then press OK. If you try to do it and your phone is still on airplane mode, it would not work. So again, Take your phone off airplane mode, then press OK, and you win it to win it. It's time to get this money. Let's go. Just like that, we are here to drop off that all the way sparked up water, baby. They got a water dispensary thing. I don't know if I'm even saying it right, but y'all know what I'm talking about. This thing right here. Wow. That joint righteous. Let's go. Sheesh. They got it. Some protein. They got everything. They got righteous. They got righteous, baby. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Flocker, man. You talking about that? Till I die. That old flocker. Walker, 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 walker. Bop. Bop. That joint leaning to the leaning to the right. Pain cut deep like a chisel. Uh, and we on point like a pencil. Just like that, we got the last thing. We about to get this green, baby. Drop it like this hot. Hit him with that photo. You already know. Don't smack with the photo. Knock on that Let's go. Order seven and eight. We getting to this cake, baby. Order number seven is Mariano's 23 items, 2.9 miles for 29.38. Don't be good, be great. Order number eight is Chick-fil-A three items, 2.6 miles for 6.75. Let's drive. We in this thing, baby. E e Chick Fil A, baby. E e. Okay, guys, get us up. Get this chair. Here we go. Right here. Let's. Go. There you go. Appreciate you. Bro. Yes, sir. You have a you good, good one. one Tip number six. Let's get in the mix. Tip number six. I'm gonna tell you guys the spark drops. The first drop is going to be Sam's Club. Sam's Club is going to drop between 15 and 18 on the hour. Meaning, if it's 12 p.m., it's going to drop between 12:15 and 12:18. For the Walmart drops, the Walmart drops are going to be between 20 and 23. So if it's 12 o'clock, it's going to be between it's going to be between 12:20 and 12:23. Get with me, baby. Now we're going to discuss the pickup times. The pickup times for Sam Club is going to be on the hour. So if you accepted the order at 12:15, you're going to pick it up at one o'clock, unless you do the unless you do the airplane mode move. Now. For the Walmart orders, you're gonna pick up the Walmart orders at 12.45 if you accepted it at 
1220 to 1223. Also, just so you guys know, Walmart orders can be picked up early, so you can finesse a little bit. They give you a little five minute extra, so you can log in at 1240, shorty. Also, one more thing before we go. The shop and deliver orders are gonna drop randomly. They just drop whenever they drop, and if you already get it, you already get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we are here. Did to drop off this Instacart order so we can get it for the baby truck. Like, so I got some eggs. I ain't get that much stuff. Now I got you guys an Uber Eats tip. With Uber Eats, they're randomly going to ask for a PIN number. So sometimes the customer don't even know what the PIN number is, and you don't even know nothing about it either. So this is what this is the plan, saying this is how you get rid of it. All you have to do is click report issue, click can't get pin, and then click yes, it's delivered, and you're good to go. You already know. Let's go. Order number seven. Thank God for his blessings. We getting money when he's stressing, baby. All the way. Sparked up. Sam's Club's 4.7 miles for 14.81. You know we about to get it done. Baby, it's -e -e. time to get bit. Is the hope that wind ain't blowing too hard. Hopefully, let us in so we can get busy, baby. How you doing, sir? I have a delivery for a Bruce. Bruce? Yeah. Hey, just give it over there. Do you have to sign for it? No, thank you. No. Oh, okay. Bruce Crumholds? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. You too. Thank you. I'm back with another tip. Are you guys ready? This one is for all my Instacart shoppers. Guess what? Instacart is working on the thing right now where they're gonna start telling us which aisle each item is in. It already is in effect right now. So in my area, we have it for Jewel, Osco, and Mariano's for sure. So you guys wanna check your area and see if and see if they have it in your area because guess what? It saves a lot of time when you are here on the grind. Order number eight, don't be good, be great. Panera Bread, five items, 2.7 miles for 668. Let's get to this cake. I'm back. I'm back with another one. This is for my shifters. Anybody out there who's doing ship trying to get this grip, trying to get this cheese, baby. This one is for you. It's for everybody in your crew. So, with the ship orders, when you get the ship order and you're in the order, guess what? You're going to use the pre type text. This is going to inform the customer everything that's going on, everything you got going on. Introduction, you can click that. If you can send an introduction text. You can send a text of your status of what's going on. If they have this item, if they don't have this item, you can send all these. And this is going to improve your customer service and it might help you get an extra tip, baby. Order number nine, be on the grind to the end of time. Y'all gonna continue to see us shine, baby. Einstein Bros, three items, 4.1 miles for 750, get with me. So. For all my door dashers that's trying to have a bath, that's trying to get this money, baby, I got one for you. We back to you, baby. Look, everybody wants to know how me and my business partners finesse the door dash move. This is how we do it, baby. So say we got two orders, one on my phone, one on her phone. This is what we do. I go pick up my order, I pick arrive at the store, and then once I get the order, I do not hit confirm pickup. Because after I get my order, we're gonna go get her order and we're gonna get in order. Then I'm gonna pick, confirm, pick up, and then we're gonna drop mine off, then drop hers off. That's what we do, baby. Forget you and your crew. And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Today we made 209.36. We got in the mix. Guess what? We did get some money from DoorDash. We got a little five dollars. Cause they said we went hundred miles, so they gave us a little gas money. But I'm gonna give you guys one last tip before we go. Take this to the grave, baby. Do not tell nobody about that. I got sneak it to you. Don't be telling nobody about this tip. This is a good finesse, man. Sometimes if you're running late, if something happens, you're running late, you get the order, you're driving, or so, and you're running late. This is what you want to do. You're going to log out of DoorDash. When you log out of DoorDash, it's going to turn off the GPS. That means ain't nobody going to know where you at. So that's that's one of the, that's one of the, shh, 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 shh. Don't be telling nobody about that tip, man. Only because y'all, only because y'all part of the family. That's the only reason why I'm telling y'all. I see you guys on the next one. Also, if you want a chance to win some of the free merch, all you have to do is email me at groomshouseofviews at gmail.com. So you subscribe to the channel and earn your chance to win. It's 2022, it's bag season, and we're gonna get it in. I see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way. Thank every last one of you for staying after the credits. This is why I'm gonna give you some credit. Some extra credit, baby. This, this one more. Guess what?
All the way sparked up orders. The Sam's Club first drop is at 6.15. So this is one of our secrets, this is what we do. I'm at home still, I turn on spark, and turn, I turn on probably at 6.10 to see if a one gonna drop at between 6.15 and 6.18. That one gonna drop, and then while I'm getting dressed, I already know I got an order waiting for me right when I get there. So all I gotta do is get dressed and be there about seven o'clock to pick up the order. Also, just so you guys know, there's another one. Walmart dropped their first order at 7.20. So at seven, if we don't get one at 6.15, we know we gonna get one at about 7.20-ish to 7.23. That's one for me to you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.